This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 7th of September. I'm James Spann. The weekend is straight ahead. Got some pretty big changes coming up. Let's take some of the sky cam shots uh, this early morning. These were captured about 5 o'clock. Nobody should be awake at that hour of the day, but I am. That's the Tuscaloosa camera looking east. Off in the distance, there's uh, Bryant-Denny Stadium and got football weather. We'll talk about that in just a bit. Look at downtown Clanton early this morning down in Chilton County and a nice look at downtown Haleyville in Winston County up in northwest Alabama. Things evolving as expected up north. We've got a deep upper low around James Bay where the trough uh, is going to rotate down through the bottom of that, and that's going to extend that into the deep south this weekend, pushing a cold front down this way. And you can start to see the leading edge of the cooler air dipping down into Montana and North Dakota. They're in the 30s and 40s this morning, and uh, we're going to feel some refreshing air in here by Sunday. Along the front, could see some active storms later today and tonight, just north and west of the state. That slight risk clips the far northwestern corner of Alabama. And maybe some strong storms early tomorrow morning moving in here, but they should be in a weakening phase. And then tomorrow, look at the risk up north. That's a 30% zone up there uh, that would include areas basically from Washington, D.C. to interior New England. But down here, just a 5% chance of any severe weather mainly south of Birmingham. That would be for uh, tomorrow afternoon, mainly for the southeastern part of the state with the front. Don't expect any severe weather here. And the good news, the rain totals are coming down. Hey, we've had plenty of rain, at least most of the state. In fact, obviously with Selma getting nine inches and Pickens County getting eight inches, yeah, we've had enough at least for the western half. Uh, this is the rain through Tuesday evening of next week showing amounts of only a quarter to a half inch here. And I think that's right. Uh, if anything happens in the Gulf, that's headed over toward uh, the Florida Peninsula. So, uh, yes, rain, but probably not that much uh, late tonight and tomorrow morning. Tropical weather, the ghost of Isaac, Hurricanes Leslie and Michael are out there. Uh, that old chunk of Isaac just not doing well. The convection is not all that great. It's displaced to the south of the center. And until that consolidates, if it, it consolidates, nothing's going to develop there. And if anything does, it would be moving east-northeast. And most models don't even identify this thing anymore. And if by chance, I don't think it will now, but if by chance it gets a name, uh, the name would be Nadine. Some of the models do bring it up to tropical storm strength. So, you know, still some outside chance something happens there. We'll keep an eye on that. But again, it should not affect us. Uh, there's Leslie. Uh, that is a minimal hurricane off in the Atlantic. Moving north. The good news, it's going to pass well east of Bermuda. Bermuda is out of the cone. So, you know, earlier this week, the Hurricane Center had that thing going right on top of the island. Well, now uh, they might get a good breeze, but it's going to pass well to the east of there. But again, it could be up there in the Canadian Maritimes by the uh, middle part of next week. Uh, this is our other hurricane, uh, Michael. Winds 105 miles an hour. It's in a weakening phase. And uh, you know, this is a storm that was born in the middle of nowhere, and it's going to die in the middle of nowhere. No threat to land. All right, GFS, this is the OZ run at 1 o'clock today at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. You can see that strong energy coming down through uh, Minnesota and Iowa. And down below that, the day today will be much like yesterday, partly sunny. Just a very small chance of a shower for the uh, high school football games. Tonight, most stadiums will be dry, much like last night. Then tomorrow, there's your trough extending south. Down below that, here comes the front. And uh, what we'll do is kind of get in there and look at the uh, RPM because this will help, and we'll talk about football, okay? This is 7 a.m. tomorrow, and this shows a band of stronger storms up there in northwest Alabama uh, and uh, should be raining over in Starkville, the uh, site of the Auburn-Mississippi State game. And again, 7 a.m., that's an 11 o'clock kickoff, but I really think the rain is going to be before that game begins over there. And uh, let's move it to 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And look at that. The, the line just kind of fizzles out during the mid to late morning hours and just a few scattered light rain showers at midday. Uh, and this has got the rain well south of Starkville. So for the Auburn game, there might be a little rain maybe the first quarter, but I think most of it should be over by 1130. And then for Tuscaloosa, this is suggesting the rain will be over by the time the game starts. And we're going to lean in that direction in the forecast. Uh, for the tailgaters, yes, some rain uh, clearly tomorrow morning, but probably not that much. 
Certainly not enough to ruin the day. And then by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, everything looks great. Jacksonville State's got a game against UT Chattanooga. 6 o'clock kickoff, Snow Burgess Stadium. Hey, what a great night. The, the drier air is going to be rolling in, a nice north breeze. Uh, just a great night tomorrow night for football. Hey, and Sunday, everybody's in that dry, pleasant air. I can't wait. The, uh, the NAM is showing a high of only 81. And by golly, it's got us down to 54 early Sunday morning. So I think we'll be in the 50s uh, Sunday morning. It's going to be good. Monday, gorgeous. It's going to be a nice dry spell. Again, I think we start the day in the 50s. Be up there in the low and mid-80s. And every day next week, dry. There's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and a week from today. Moisture tries to come back, but just a small chance of a shower. So again, for those needing that long dry spell, you got five good days, Sunday through thir- Thursday. We'll forecast no rain very comfortable conditions into the forecast september 23rd at the uh, core of the westerlies up north a little weak impulse here and that would be kind of warm and showery if that happened to be correct but there's been no consistency out there we've seen almost every look known to man um, in 15 days over the past week or so that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes on the blog next video here by 3 30 or so today And don't forget to watch ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.